Welcome back. This is Black Naganashi here, and I'm here to announce that I have my own laptop now. After so many years of saying I was going to get one and never got one, I now have one. Um, this video is going to be very short and sweet and to the point. It's going to be brief. Um, I'm just going to discuss some recent, you know, releases for right now until, you know, further notice. So we're going to start with the limited time items. Um, so right now we have... The Lieutenant Lore Cannon. Um, of course, we see tokens, you know, but that's going to get, you know, out leveled by some gold weapon anyway. Um, you can change this cannon so that it switches between great hero and underhanded villain. Correction, you can change this cannon so that it switches between dealing pure, pure damage or inflicting an energy barrier. Now, this weapon can serve very useful, but at the same time, this is like, you know, enough weapons do some type of burn, poison, you know, affliction. You know, affliction is kind of popular nowadays in, you know, AQ for some odd reason. Um, whilst we also have the Irony Man Shield or the Iron Man Shield, um, a shield that can be used to hurt instead of protect. How ironic. No, knights use sh shields to daze their opponents as well as defend. It's also an iron shield that blocks electricity. That's totally ironic. Please stop. Yes, AQ. Please stop with these goddamn puns. Please. All right. So, um, you know, nothing really new as far as spells and house items. Um, let's see. Uh, we also have. I'm not gonna say an extremely new release of the um, purple rain, but we have purple rain that's been released due to you know princess passing um we also have the star slayer that's been released um as of recent um not too recent but recent enough uh so we're gonna go ahead and let's see we're gonna build up some sp first before we go ahead and um really take some of these new items to for a test drive so all right, it's been a while since I've made a video, and now that I actually have my own sources to do things now, I can actually be way more consistent if I would like. Now, of course, I'll be aware that, you know, real life does exist, so I'm not going to be able to be a house pet and be on here all the time. I'm just going to be on here in my spare time, or when new releases come out, I'll make my way on here to, um... You know, show you guys a few things. So, Purple Rain, um, one time to turn sorrow and pain into laughter, laughter in the Purple Rain. Um, this item is like a eye, well, the old eye of Nab. Um, but this item is basically the um, Father Time Shield. Um, it will wind things back. And, um, let's see. In. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, I forgot there is props. All right. Well, yeah. Um, this is a pretty decent spell, honestly. Like I recently just picked it up. I didn't get it when it first came out because I thought it was a, I thought it was an actual spell to attack a monster. And you know, I don't use spells because I can't use spells because that's not my build. But um, yeah. As for the Star Slayer, it's a great armor. You know, in my opinion. Um. It beats out um, Cyber Assassin in defense, and it also has an armor skill, and it's actually really useful because that means it can lower it lowers damage of your enemy, you know. So they won't be doing 100% damage; they'll only be doing just about 70%, roughly. Um, I was wondering why the hell when this came out, um, the energy force was bugged and. Like, it would do the forehead attack, but it would be a whole bunch of damage, which I had no problem with, but I knew that wasn't the true attack. I also have the Star Savior armor, which has great um, range defense, while Star Slayer has um, great melee defense. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put Star Slayer in storage, because honestly... I can't, I don't really want it to be at the top of my um, armors because 
it's color custom. So therefore, when it shows on your character page, it's gonna show up as the Guardian plate, you know, default color, and which are very ugly. So I'm just gonna show you the star save really fast. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until it does all its attacks, and then you know we're gonna just go ahead and leave out the battle. We also have the Diamond Flutterby pet, which is extremely useful in my opinion because I, fire is my favorite element in this game. So freezing, constant freezing, will be awesome. But yeah, um, the difference between Star Savior and Star Slayer is that Star Savior has three attacks, while Star Sa Slayer has two. Um, Star Savior does not have an armor skill, which I honestly feel that's not fair, and it's just kind of messed up because it's like I know it's defensive, but like, come on, like, can you? Can we get some conversation here? Um, yeah. Um, so that's why I prefer Star Slayer anyway. But the, the throw attack is pretty cool, I guess. But uh, I still would prefer Star, you know, Slayer. So your yeah, Diamond Flutter by, is, I think, honestly, I think it's a beautiful pet. Aside from it being blue, of course, because, you know, blue is a wonderful color anyway. But... It's just a beautiful pet, and I'm glad I did pick it up when I got that rare box, because I was gonna get the um, the Drago Sector, but then I realized that weapon's been there for a long time. What's the use of me getting it now? You know, it's okay. It finally froze my foe, so um, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and leave the battle after this attack. Just trying to brief you guys on some things that were released. You know, since I'm not gonna say since I was gone, but since I was absent, you know, even though that's the same thing. But when I say gone, it's like you know I was gone forever, and I wasn't. So, um, as far as the golden gift boxes, um, we have two new weapons in the shops. We have a returning rare from the past. If you played this game in the past you will know exactly where this weapon came from um it used to call it used to be called thrills hatred not scorn um the art was different back in the day as opposed to now it looks better now um i wonder what the true power of this weapon is i wonder is it more powerful than my nogus wrath because i know dragon fire so it is stronger but i missed out on that so i just need a strong fire weapon so I can just do massive damage continuously. Um, let's see the tamer. Um, it's an accuracy power, you know, swapping weapon. The short edge is for accuracy, and the long edge, of course, is for power. Um, I don't know if it's better than Tempest Scimitar, in my opinion, because I love Lucky Strikes, and those Lucky Strikes that the Tempest Scimitar does on the special, in particular, is ferocious. So that's something to look at. Um, My thing is, why is Tamer? Why doesn't Tamer have the? Um, why doesn't Tamer have the Guardian only tag? And it says level one hundred fifty. But they'll probably fix that. But um, yeah. So Tamer is a good weapon, but I probably wouldn't use it that much. Um, we also have the War of the Giants event. You basically do, you basically fight, you know, a giant's foot, and you just do a series of battles, and then. You see Connex, but you know he's you know mis misformed, malformed. Um, let's see, we have the Thursday the twelfth um, war um, that you know finished a while ago. Um, it's just a few things that has been happening, but unfortunately it didn't pick my interest that much. And to even put it in the video, just gonna tell you about it instead. But um. When more interesting things come out or when something real nice comes out, then I'll keep you guys updated. But that's enough for now. I'll catch you guys later. And one more thing before I, you know, sign off. Um, I need a great, great video editing app on my laptop because um, I feel like Windows Movie Maker is really basic. And I need something to really put some flash into my video. So for anyone that might know something great, please leave it in the comment section below. I'll be sure to check it out and, and, of course, show me how to get to it. All right. Everyone have a wonderful day.